cashews, two cups of water, one fourth cup nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon chicken like seasoning, one teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon garlic powder, two cups vital gluten flour, two tablespoons whole wheat flour, one recipe of the cooked stuffing that we just did. Okay, Ken, what are we going to do right next? A stop called a stop turkey, turkey roll. roll. Amen. Can you imagine that in vegan kitchen you can make stop turkey roll? It is delicious. So I'm going to show you step by step so it's really easy and uh. simple. Okay, first what we're going to do, you need to have a blender. So we will need a, a two cup water. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have a cashew, raw cashew. They are really, really dirty and then lots of germs and bacteria in it. So make sure to wash them wash real good. And so we're going to have cashew. Let's uh, pre-wash it. And the cashews is very high in vitamin B1, B2 also fatty acid, and when people have uh, nervous problems, and uh, I think they need to eat some cashews, it will mm. calm you down. Very and good. the next, I'm going to put nutritional yeast flakes, okay. and they will give you a really nice flavor, also B vitamins. And the next one, I will need sea salt. That one called the R salt or sea salt with the 52 mm. minerals, Amen. so it's you can use salt also taking a 52 minerals is, is blessing. Yes. And that called the chicken like seasonings. And you can this is my recipe, but if you have any uh, chicken like. chicken flavor seasoning, this is, has no chicken whatsoever. But just a nice blending make it taste like a yes. chicken flavor. Tastes like it. and looks like it. <laughs> hey. This is garlic powder. Yeah, good stuff. And the onion powder. Amen. And then a key word is you need to blend it until nice and smooth. smooth. Yeah, nice and smooth. Okay. Let's get it on tight. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. It looks pretty looks good. Looks pretty good, huh? Yes. Maybe we want to do a little bit longer at home, but for television purposes, we need yes, to... Yes, that's right. Take it off and... Be careful. <laughs> hold this right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. All right. Next one. I mean, you can just leave it okay. there. Thank you. This is a gluten flour. I tried to get a 75% protein oh, content. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> and this is... A little less than what we are requiring because I messed up there. And it's okay. Gluten flour is a whole protein from the wheat. Uh, wheat. Mm -hmm. So that's why we can uh, make some uh, vegetarian meat with the gluten flours. So I'm sorry if you are allergic to gluten. It's not for you. Oh, by the way, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Uh, uh, several people call me who are allergic to gluten, ask me if I could come up with a recipe, the gluten-free lunch meal recipe. So I have a good news for you. Uh, so God bless me with the recipe. So we put it on our website. Our website address is kyungcw.com. There you can see. K-Y-O-N-G-C-W.com. Just click on recipe and you will see the uh, gluten-free lunch recipe. Like yes, it's very pasta. delicious. Yeah. We even like it. Amen. We are not allergic to gluten. We really like it. All right. Now you can pour this one here for okay. me. Okay. Is this recipe on your uh, Facebook or anything? or? This recipe, I haven't put it on my Facebook yet. Oh, amen. <laughs> because I want to share on 3 ABN with the viewers first. Then, uh -huh. then they will be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, this is really, uh, really soft dough. So most of the gluten recipe is really tough. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be soft, so don't worry. And uh, you go ahead and mix it really good. Like this, 
Yeah. Okay, it's already done, this one. It will thicken up later on. Yeah. How fast it is? Mm -hmm. Then what you need to do, you will need to have. This is a stuff turkey roll recipe. So you will need to have a parchment paper. If you have a large cutting board, you just cover it to cut it. If you don't, uh, maybe you need to cut by like a 10, 15 by 20. This is about 15 inches. Mm -hmm. So all you need to cut like uh, about 20 inches long. Amen. Then this one, I will just move here. Okay. Then you just spread out. Spread out to make about 10 by 14 inches size. So this okay. will be about 14 inches width, width by and the 10 inches long. 14 by 10, huh? Yeah, 14 by 10. I, do, I was so amazed when I came out. <laughs> Thank God. Amen. I had a, such a burden. There's got to be a vegan way we can make some turkey, stuffed turkey. You know? Then I had a stuffing recipe, then I have a turkey recipe. So I said, oh, I'm going to put them all together. And this is about, looks like a 10 by 14. Then what I will do, I'm going to go and put them in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to just take it out with my hand. Okay, just put it in the middle. This is the stuffing we just made, right? Yes, we just made first recipes. They're still hot and steamy. Mm, smells good. You need to really work with your hand with this one. Yes. Just mounting like this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use it, everything. Yeah, don't waste nothing. Oh, this is really good. Smells good too. Yeah, smells good. Not only that, you get all the good nutrition, nutrition. value. Yes. Good enough. Hey. <laughs> My mom is not watching, so that's good enough. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now after that, I'm going to go and take this one off. Yeah. Okay. And so you got a parchment paper in the bottom. You just bring it here like this. Okay, just then bring another one. Try to cover. Then when you pull it, you'll be able to cover. And also when you bake it, they are going to expand it. And like this, then turn it upside down. Then you will need to have foil. Let it go ahead and pick it up for me. Okay. okay. Then go ahead and put it in here. Okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, turn the oven on at 325 degrees. And you just roll it one more time. Then just go ahead and close an end like this, twist it. Yes. Bake it at 325 degrees for one hour, 15 minutes. I think one hour, 30 minutes. One hour, okay. 30 minutes. 15 minutes or one hour. But one hour and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we will show you the, how the finished product look like. Yes. Okay. It's amazing, huh? Ta -da. Maybe turn around, maybe it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Real good. Now when it come up from the oven, uh, you, you'll be able to eat right away, but the thing is you need to slice about one inch thick. Mm -hmm. And I will show you. This is how it look. Actually, Inside the middle? Yeah, actually I slice and I have some leftover. So it will come out like that. And then I can just show you how the middle look like. That yes. looks look good. Looks yeah. good. And it's like uh, when you have a leftover, what you can do, you can put it in the freezer. It freezes real good. If you love sandwich, this is what we like to do, leftover. This is like a so, whole wheat soup, yeah. and you can slice in the middle. They're excellent. They are excellent lunch, yeah. Fill you up too. Yes. And if you like to put some, uh, any veggies, that's fine. And we like to dry sandwich. So you can put two pieces, it will cover. Mm, that looks good. <laughs> you can have yeah. Oh, man. And you can put some tomatoes. Ready to eat. And so put some uh, little lettuce pieces here. This is too much here. Okay, then you can cover. Close it and eat. And close it. And if you can close, you can seal it with a toothpick. Toothpick. And this is ready for good lunch. Amen. It's so simple, so easy, and delicious. Yeah. And it's yeah. good. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so our next recipe is chicken or turkey gravy. That's right. For the chicken or turkey gravy, you will need one and a half cups of water.